Welcome, welcome, welcome. <clears throat> trying to figure out what deck I want. How is everyone? I'm sorry I didn't come on earlier. I've been busy. You might have a new stat somewhere. Communication. Someone feels inspired to communicate, possibly. Um, just a little under the weather. And my throat has been really, 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 really hurting. So trying to kind of say my voice but I haven't really been talking to anyone so I saved it for you and um that song just came to me I'm saving all my love for you <clears throat> I hope you can hear me over the fans but I need my fans <laughs> I got two going one is not good enough right now. One is just not cutting it. So, let's see what the current energy is. Give it take a day or two. is all up in their head you know it pulled me to my other deck with the ace of pence and there's a big beetle and I always say to you guys someone's bugging so it looks like someone's possibly bugging okay not not speaking the truth not talking not clarifying <clears throat> not really giving you Someone's given breadcrumbs to a situation. <clears throat> we have one energy that's confident, one energy that's not giving. I, this is not the same energy. Unless it's saying someone's trying to figure out if someone's bugging out. Are they single? Are they not? Yeah, unless it's that. But if you ask me, I don't think that's what it is. It, it could be, though, because, you know, that's the card. Yeah, nah. This, ooh, I can't even tell you what I was about to just say. This person, not even talking. They're not even talking to you. They're not telling you how they feel. They're not reciprocating. Okay. Somebody is going to want a second chance here. Okay. But right this second, they're not moving forward. Okay. What judgment? They're either criticizing themselves, you know, placing judgment on them, or I almost said the blame. I'm not really sure what that's forgotten, but this energy could be like, shit, why didn't I just tell this person? Yada, yada, yada. Because something's not moving forward right this second. That energy seems to be stressed out. So you got a masculine not talking. To me, I don't think it's a lie. They could have lied. And now they're sorry and they want a second chance. But to me, I don't think it's that. I think they're just not... They're not speaking the truth. Yeah, see, now this is the same. This is the energy. So this is one energy, and this is another energy. That she, She's just kind of chilling. She's confident. You know, she's alluring. She's spiritual. She's inspiring. She's adventurous. She's awesome sauce, you know. I'm sure he is too, but... Not right now, he's not. She could be taking care of her finances or just focused on finances. But this is a card of, you know, confidence, independent. <clears throat> Let's see what's on this person's mind. Eight of Swords, please. Eight of Swords. I, 
I can't tell which way that came out, but this card, you know, is kind of either way. Some readers would be like, oh, I'm making a decision, but to me, it's, you're still at a stalemate. This energy, you're still at a stalemate. You're still indecisive, right? So I guess it really doesn't matter how that card came out, to be completely honest with you, because someone's still all up in their head. So it's not really giving us the answer to that. going on with the six of pence this energy could be given to a different energy this energy wants to lay the weight down so that's good they're also guarded okay there's also an empress in the situation so now we got two women and she's not putting any energy into it either she's not nurturing the situation she's not giving so maybe this energy wanted to move forward with her and she's not budging but then that leaves you. So I don't know what that's forgotten. And I'm not trying to make you feel like leftovers. But this energy is still here. This one's here too. This one's looking good. I'm sure she's looking good too. But it looks like she laid the weight down. This energy is not giving. Or, or he's done giving to her but I think it's the other way around I think she stopped nurturing the situation she stopped giving so the person you're dealing with was still dealing with their past or whoever this woman is but then there's also you or this is you and that's someone else it really just depends on how this is for you so something's not moving forward here. So it looks like this energy could have possibly lied about someone else. Or this energy here knows this one's not giving and is trying to figure out how do I fix this. But they might be realizing that it's not going to happen. But then that leaves another energy here, and, you know, that's not cool either. So, unless that's a wrap and you meet someone new, tell me about judgment. <clears throat> it depends. So, yeah, it was t some type of commitment, working hard towards something. Someone wanted to commit again that cards about committing to something so it looks like that didn't work out for them <clears throat> some about the queen of wands so maybe that energy separated because that would be already committed that would be like a wife tell me about the queen of wands so this energy walked away you know, it looks like she invested some time and then realized, yeah, that's that's not really rolling the way I thought it would. And she left the scene. And now she's on a new adventure. She's probably going to meet someone new. So depending on who you are here, that's a new opportunity in love. I don't think it's that one, but you never know. But again... You know, somebody try to make it work for someone else. It's like they have the opportunity with you. All I know is, regardless, this Queen of Wands, she walked away from a scenario to go find her ninth cup. So that's a smart chica. 
because you could have chose to stay in this. You could have chose to still invest in something and only get eight cups. And you want the whole, you know, nine yachts. It couldn't have been easy strength to overcome devil. So there was something toxic going on or there was something or attraction. Regardless, you still overcame it. So if you're her, you're not nurturing it anymore either. I don't know what the story is with her necessarily. All I know is that she laid the weight down. So whatever was going on with them, she she just wasn't having it anymore. You know, and then we have another woman that's single and confident and independent and she wants something pure. She wasn't getting it, so she chose not to invest. She probably put some time into it because the Seven of Pence was there, or she considered doing that, and it didn't It didn't pan out. She walked away. And then you have him all up in his head. I don't know what he's all up in his head about. Uh, uh, probably everything, because you got one man tied to two women right now. That's a given. Whether it's a boyfriend, a girlfriend, past lover, a husband, a wife, a side chick. I mean, I hate to say it like that, but I don't know everyone's scenario. She's going to get that. I don't know if it's linked to him or not. Tell me about this King of Swords. Yeah, see, there's still something toxic going on. There's some type of, um, I'm not even going to say it. I almost said attraction, but there's there's no way. I mean, it could be because looking at her like that, but, I mean, I guess I'll clarify the devil. It could be just straight up cappy energy. You're dealing with an Aquarius. It doesn't really matter. But that's toxic. Could be addiction. Tell me about the devil. This person could be addicted to work. Yeah, well, or they're a drinker, okay? Because they're not happy. So, there's that. So this person's energy is, is not good right now, coming in as the devil. Not good at all. There's still, I want to say toxic. I think it's linked to karma for that the masculine with judgment being there. It just with the other cards too, because we the major kind of we the chariot sitting next to the judgment too. So it's like they had a chance to move forward into the future, but somebody you know stepped backwards. So they could be kicking themselves in the ass for that. So now this one energy lost both. Maybe they wanted a second chance to save a family. The Empress usually has a family or save a business partnership, something coming as the Empress too. I don't know. That could be a lawyer. So he's not, he's not happy. Because some of you there obviously clearly is a drinking addiction. But that's not for everyone. It's just somebody who is definitely, is sad and is karma. They're getting a dose of karma. Maybe somebody is realizing that there's a new opportunity for love. Like scratch all this. And maybe someone you were talking to that you're no longer talking to realizes this is a new opportunity in love. And it's probably like, oh, fuck. I might have lost that situation. Because he could have told her that he was going to try with her again. Because these are all cards of effort, too, right here. 
and the F is not being put in, laying the weight down. Synergy, blockage, nurturing, that's all effort. Right now there's no effort. So, I mean, it really could go the other way. It's either her that decided, you know what, I I don't want it no more either. Whether she found out about this one or not. This one's just tired. But, well, no, she's not tired. She could be lying about something, too. Her own happiness. What is she doing? What's this Empress doing real quick? We know she's not nurturing him, but... Yeah, see, she's not... She's not... She's not taking a risk no more on this energy. She's, she's done. Which brings me back to... The read, which brings me back to the moon read, week one, week two, week three. And I think it was week two. Where it was, something was a finality. So that means there is something probably destined here. You guys found yourself in a fucking crapshoot. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. Alrighty, Schneidy. We'll have to see how this pans out, because right now it's it's not panning out for anyone. Well, maybe for her. Because she's not letting the energy get the best of her. And if this is divine, then that was meant to go down that way. And he's meant to be all up in his head and he's meant to come back around. Now. Just leave it at that. Let's see what this Ace of Swords is. It's either you guys not talking or it's, it's a lie. But I don't think it's linked. I think it's linked to him or her. Three of Pence. So some type of contract. Yeah, something probably with the home. There could be a third party there. And somebody's not aware of it. Because somebody's not repeating that cycle. Holy shit balls. There could be another person. She could have met someone else. And now she wants to end what that is. All those threes, guys, it, she possibly, it, it's like she wants to put an end to a contract if, if there's a contract between them. Or the comic contract is done. It's a wrap. Again, pull me back to the same read. Let me see the outcome of the three of pence. Yeah, see, shady shit. Deception. Lies. So either she's lying or he's lying. Looks like she's lying. It's like she's not nurturing a situation. But because it looks like there's something else going on that he might be unaware of. But that... Anywho. This one's walking right towards a new offer in love. So that's why I'm like, if it is destined, it's going to have to be a major turnaround. And if it's not destined, you know, she, she learned a lesson. She stood strong and independent and stuck to her guns, her morals, her values. She left the scene. So she's, it looks like she's going to get a new offer from someone else. <clears throat> or everything had to go down exactly the way it had to go down for that energy to come back around. 
because now he knows she doesn't play games either. It just sucks that this equation was in, in between, in between you guys. said the best advice for the king of swords and is first of all choose okay somebody also desires something from the past somebody doesn't want something to be over they don't want to accept it they don't they're not seeing that it's definitely over okay so I, I don't I mean yeah make a choice because you're stuck you have to choose it's almost like this energy knows it's, it's over but doesn't doesn't want to leave the past. I mean, there could be kids involved with the Six of Cups, too. Another reason why somebody doesn't want to leave. One more for the Seven of Cups. This one's trying to keep the options open, and it's like, no... priestess they need to use the intuition on here and it looks like they're, they're not willing to sacrifice something or, or change their perspective yet they really should follow their destiny but it doesn't work that way all the time the world came out with this but it looked like it was reversed so let me if it was reversed it's saying it's, it's not over you have an energy watching you for sure and then you got the lovers right and the two of cups so there is a connection here um could be Gemini energy but this energy whoever she was involved with which is probably this person could be someone else too possibly two on her end but there's definitely a connection here and you still walked away from it so good for you Especially if there was somebody else. That's a given. It's almost like she didn't want to make the choice. But she did. This energy too. Wants to communicate but doesn't look like they are. They're definitely watching her. Definitely attracted to this energy. She is very alluring energy with the Queen of Wands and Nine of Pence. But I feel like with the lovers being reversed right now, the way something's coming down, it's like it got shut down. But she knew there was a connection. She knew there was a new opportunity. She basically knows how the other energy feels. But at the bottom of the deck, Five of Swords. I said that in the very beginning of the read. Like, I cannot believe the Five of Swords is not out. Because everybody kind of, not everyone loses, but it's like, it's, it's just like, damn. <clears throat> It's just, in that moment, nobody wins.
And she nipped it in the butt. You must have nipped it in the butt real quick. And I almost said, I wonder if it was too quick, but I don't think so. And I don't want you second guessing yourself if you have this energy because there was another woman. So I'm not even going to go there. For some reason, some of you needed that clarification. Trust me, you did the right thing by walking away. Does my butt look big? <laughs> Does my butt look big as I'm walking away? Could have had that ass. Bye. Anywho, if it's meant to be, it's, it's going to come back and they're going to get a piece of that ass anyway. Okay? But, maybe that ass is meant for someone else. Okay? So, I don't know how this is going to roll. No matter who you are, hang in there. You could, this energy could be secretly lying too about how they truly feel about someone. Because when you have this connection on the board, you walked away from something that you knew was probably sacred. And when the Two of Cups comes out like this, it's, it's mutual. You both feel the same way. It's a given. So, let me get your best advice. I don't know who it's for. We've got three energies on the board. I will tell you one energy, the one energy that walks away. It's, it's a good thing because you're going to go towards something more stable, solid. You can't build on rocky ground. So you had to have been building on rocky grounds, a foundation that wasn't there. You know, so... By walking away, this is what you get in return. I don't know when or with who, but that's not really important or relevant. You, somebody did the right thing there. It's very, um, it's very stagnant energy for one and very flowing energy for another. So obviously, one's dealing with karma and one's dealing with dharma. Your best advice right now is over. Something is over. It's been over. It's dead and gone. Don't look back. To me, I would say that's for the masculine. Because I don't really see... I see that other feminine as um, Dama. That's way too many. So something's over. I'll leave it be. You know, there's a song in my head. What's yours is yours, or what's yours is. What's yours is yours. Old school. Not too old. Probably 90s. Early millennium. What's yours is yours. There's some guy saying that. But basically, what's yours is yours. Okay. So, yeah, this is definitely spack, spacking. Speaking of the masculine. Something's dead and gone. Let it go. You, you have feelings el elsewhere, and you know it. You, there's a new opportunity in love. It it is what it is, guys. It's it's karma. Okay. If somebody wants something pure and raw, they need to let that go. They need to tell somebody how they feel. They need to offer the cup. So that's definitely. Um energy for advice for the masculine 
But again, I don't know how many masculines watch this, but if you're cross-watching for that energy, just know, you know, I don't know what necessarily is going to go down. doesn't look like they're going to repeat a cycle because she's not putting effort into it, so it's almost like a blessing in disguise. <sighs> um, a tough one, but aren't they all when they're blessings in disguise? So it's, it's like, could be fear to stop in this energy, but regardless, it's something they need to work through. But I feel like it's more somebody needs to realize, like, it's over. You're holding on to something that's just, it's over. And it's time to move forward and offer a new cup. So that other woman is in the picture for a reason. I know it's, it's has scenario troops, that is for sure. <clears throat> Hold on real quick. I just want to find out about the Ten of Swords. I want to see what it's linked to. Uh, it's, it's someone's past, obviously. But it's way too many. I wonder if this energy thinks like, okay, there's something here, I get it. There's a reason behind everything. But is it revenge? Is it is it worry? So somebody is like, I think it's just someone's comments catching up to them. Like, they don't need to worry about it. I think that's what it is. And others, it's, it's a family, a situation, ship. It's time to move forward. Yeah, like I said, it's, it's time for them to take action. Got the Ace of Wands and the King of Wands, so it's it's time to self motivate, get creative. It's like a spark of energy too. They need this card. It's Aries. It represents an Aries. And it's all about action. But right now that energy is like, oh, god damn. I mean, look at the energy just sitting there like, do I go after it or not? I kind of know it's there. So uh, everyone's in a hard situation. No matter which energy you are, one, two, or three, it doesn't matter. Everybody's in a really hard situation. So I wish you all happy thoughts, happy energy. Be positive. And um, we'll see you soon. I love you guys.